The aim of this video is to show you how to use Verisay easily and effectively. We will cover the following subjects. How to log in, how you can alter your user preferences, searching to find specific work orders, finding your outstanding work orders, changing your ETA, site visits and logging a note. Verisay Mobile is a browser-based application built to function equally on a mobile device such as a tablet computer or smartphone, or a laptop or desktop computer with Wi-Fi connectivity. It is a zero footprint application, which means you don't need to download anything. To access Verisay Mobile, visit the web address http colon forward slash forward slash mobile dot dot co dot uk. Verisay Mobile works in all modern web browsers, including Chrome, Firefox, Opera, Safari, and Internet Explorer 8 or higher. The recommended browsers are Chrome or Safari, and the recommended connections are 4G, LTE, or Wi-Fi. To log in, enter the username and password you have been given and click the Login button. The first time you log in, you will be asked to accept the terms and conditions by reading through the agreement and clicking on the I agree button. You will then be prompted to change your password. Remember your login name and password are case sensitive and your password will have to be at least eight characters of various types. You will get a confirmation that your password has been updated and you can now log in to your account. The Verisay mobile dashboard is your home page. It offers a number of tiles that display a range of information and shortcuts. You can configure your dashboard to match your needs with each tile providing access to filtered content. You will be given a default set of tiles similar to these. Tiles show at a glance a wide range of work order types and statuses. To change your user account details, your password and other system settings, click on your name and then the user preferences option. Make sure that your name, contact number and email address are correct. Your email address is particularly important if you ever forget your password. You should change your password from time to time to make sure the system is secure. To do this, select change password and follow the on-screen instructions. We can also use this screen to set the default sort order of work orders in the tables and the order of the tiles on the dashboard. The recommended dashboard order setting is all tiles by order. Always be sure to save your changes when you are finished. The navigation menu, accessed here, gives you options to navigate the application with the submenus available by clicking on the main headings. For example, the action submenu allows you to perform certain functions, such as changing your location, defining filters, creating work orders, scanning asset tags, and performing searches. Let's click on the search option to have a look at this function. There are three categories that can be used to search, by asset, by store, and by work order. The search fields you are given will change dynamically based upon the search type. Let's search for work orders beginning with the numbers 579. To do this, just type in the search criteria and click search. The search returns the results as a smart grid. The smart grid will allow you to perform several useful functions on your data. You can filter your information by clicking on the filter button and then adding the information you wish to filter by. For example, you could filter by work order number or by asset number and then press search. By clicking on the column button, you can choose the columns you wish to display. Place a tick in the box and the associated column will be shown in your smart grid. Untick the box and the column is no longer shown. Here, ticking the location box has added the location details to our results. Clicking in the blue column header will sort your results. For example, these results are now sorted by status. We can click additional columns to further sort our smart grid.
As well as being able to use the dashboard tiles to access the outstanding work orders, we can also access the outstanding work orders using the navigation menu. From the navigation menu, select Service, then select Outstanding Work Orders. The table of outstanding work orders is displayed. You have access to various types of information, including work order history, any linked work orders, and any uploaded documents. Also provided are details of the work required, the asset concerned, full site information, your details, and the work order tags. There may be occasions when an engineer's estimated time of arrival on site needs to be adjusted. To update the ETA for a work order, first open the work order, then select the Update ETA option from the Action menu towards the top of the work order summary screen. The new ETA can then be entered along with the supporting comments. Note that any fields shown in orange are mandatory and Verisay will not allow you to proceed without providing the required information. Once saved, the updated ETA is recorded in the work order history. Before you can start a job on site, you must complete and submit the work permit detail section of the work order. Click into your work order. Select Add Permit from the Work Permit Details of the work order. Work down the checkboxes at the start of the Work Permit Details section screen. Only tick these boxes when you have been given the appropriate instruction or information. To review the Contractor Rules, select the Contractor Rules button. Once read and fully understood, select OK at the bottom of the page. Always select the View Sites Hazard button to reveal any on-site hazards that you may need to be aware of. This page may also have associated links which must also be reviewed. Once you have read and understood all the site's hazards, you must click the I have read and understood button at the bottom of the page. If the button is disabled, it is because you have not followed every associated URL. Go back up to the list of hazards and make sure you follow every link. To submit a risk assessment, select the plus risk assessment button. The risk assessment identifies the severity of the risk type and gives a period of work permit validity. If you need to break away from completing the risk assessment, click save and a draft copy of your risk assessment will be saved for your completion at a later date. Having ticked all the checkboxes and completed any necessary risk assessment, you can submit the permit to work. Depending on the nature of the risk involved, the permit may need authorization before you can start work. The work permit has a validity period of a number of hours. You will need to update the permit if work is not finished within this period. Once the permit to work has been submitted and any approvals for the work have been given, the engineer detail becomes available. The Engineer Detail panel includes the Start Work button. To start work, select this button and then select OK to confirm this is the case. If you need to pause the job, select Pause Work. You will need to give a reason and comment why the job has been paused. Remember that all fields in orange are mandatory in Verisay. A record of the pause in work is recorded on the work order history. When we are ready to restart the job, select Start Work. If other engineers become involved in the job, you can include them using the Add Engineers button. Alternatively, those engineers could log into Verisay Mobile themselves and add themselves to the work order. Once the work is finished, select Job Complete. You will then need to make a record of the work you undertook. The operational status of the equipment should be defined as working or not working. If it's not working, then additional work may be required. You should record your opinion as to whether the equipment was misused or abused. Make a note of the asset tag and be sure to record the fault and the action you took. 
If additional parts have been used that are not in the parts list, they can be recorded within the Complete Comments box. When the form is complete, select Save, and the status of the work order will be updated to Service Complete. There may be occasions when it is necessary to notify other users of issues or actions relating to a work order. To send emails to these particular users, select the Log Note option from the Action list on the Work Order Summary page. Within the Log Note, select a reason for the notes from the Reason drop-down menu and then provide any necessary comments. If you want to attach a file to the Log Note, select Upload File and Browse to select the file. It will be attached to the Log Note much like you would attach a file to an email message. When you have completed the log note, select Submit. The log note will be recorded within the work order history. If you found this training useful, please like our video on YouTube. Please visit our website www.4.co.uk for further information regarding Verisay training.